creativesmoothie.com Boost your creativity. Hey guys, John again from creativesmoothie.com. We help you boost your creativity and create impactful experiences. I'm here again with a returning guest, Jay Rao. As you saw from before, he's a filmmaker and uh, usually works in Vietnam, but what are you doing here? Well, I'm here, to, yeah, I'm here to finish off some of the online editing for the uh, film we spoke about last time. And we're just going to put some of the finishing touches uh, with my online editor, Ryan. And uh, then once we've got locked picture, I can focus more fully on the uh, music and where we're going to put it in the uh, film. So then I'll start to have meetings with the composer and we'll, uh, we'll start putting in the music. Editing has seemed like it's been a... An ongoing process of revision. Hasn't yeah, it's it's more of a, a back and forth type of process, almost like writing, which is you know they say writing is rewriting. You know, uh, tell me about it. So basically, editing is re-editing kind of uh, because we've been going myself and Ryan, my editor, we've been going back and forth on some small sequences, how to perfect them. Do we want to show this or do we want to show? maybe not too much and let the people uh, who are watching it think more about the scene this way. It, you know, every little okay. edit, every little cut uh, makes a difference in how the viewer, uh, you know, his the viewer's experience. Okay, so today is another session. You and Ryan are going to sit together and watch another cut yes. of the film. And what was the title again? I forgot. The title of the film? Yes. Well, you shouldn't have forgotten because it's unforgettable. Unforgettable. Oh, man. <laughs> Just playing around with you, buddy. Okay. Cool. Okay, so we'll take a look at the latest cut and we'll catch up with you in a bit. Okay. Or the bedroom scene, right? The bedroom scene, yeah. yeah. Bedroom scene. Um, Besides, I that, think it just depends on which way you want to go with it. Like, I, yeah. I don't think that's an area of problem, it's just sort of taste. Yes, yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Uh, but for this one, so you know how we're talking about, like, what are we doing as far as the music and how we're going to fade it out. And mm -hmm. it's, it's like a fantasy. So uh, I was just playing around with it and you can see what you think, right? When he closes his eyes mm -hmm. and it's completely black background, you know, that obviously symbolizes that we're inside his head. Yes. So I thought let's take it a, just one step further maybe. And I just threw a, an effect in there anyways and see what you think. It just makes it a little bit more dreamy and a little bit more surreal. Mm -hmm. Um, at at least one other point, or maybe even two, like at the beginning and maybe I don't know, maybe at the end I don't know. But I do like mm. that psychedelic type of effect, whether it's a smoke effect or something else. I do like that. Yeah, it could work over top of the title. Mm -hmm. um, As we fade into his hand, I just feel that. These ones are probably, like we just saw, probably too quick that you wouldn't really understand. Because you're already trying to take in quite a bit for those. Well, maybe we don't need to see it during the flashbacks. Yeah, that's right? what I'm saying. It's maybe we can just see it during the title, and then we come into it, and it's just as it is. And then we see a little bit more when we get to that lounge scene. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I like it. I think it's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. With the color grading, it'll actually, it'll look a lot better too. Yeah, through the reverb on there, we did a good idea, like it's, it makes it sound a bit more cavernous. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. But it's been kind of quiet with no music all throughout the beginning. So what's going on? It's an interesting process, this fine tuning, uh, but it's a little, uh, it's a little nerve wracking because you know that once you've made a decision to keep it that way, you're not going to be able to go back. And I mean, that's it. You've got picture lock, and you're you're done. You're going to move on to other aspects of making the film, but you're not going to keep going back to the editing. So this process takes some time because you want to be really sure that what you have there is, you know, what you want. 
and you're happy with it. All right, we're back here at Lamplighter Studios with Jay and Jay. So what happened today, the editing session? Well, it was very interesting. We got a chance to look over the film and uh, make some very uh, important, but very minor adjustments to the film. Um, and I think that I'm pretty happy with the way it is. But in the end, you're making a film for other people to watch. So you really do want to get other people's opinion. Um, so if you can finish the film to the best of your ability and maybe then get some feedback from people who perhaps haven't even heard of it or know what it's about or haven't read the script, mm -hmm. I think it could be invaluable just to see what a fresh audience would think about it. So I'm looking forward to that. And at that point, maybe I'll know whether I need to make any other minor adjustments before I release it you know, to the public. But editing, even in our session with myself, Jay, and Ryan, a lot of discussions, a lot of asking each other's opinions and feedback. So it really seems like editing is just a process that at some point it finishes, but uh, you got to lock it down eventually, right? At some point, you got to make the hard choices and uh, leave certain things out, put certain things in, and just say, okay, that's it. I'm happy with it that way. And, you know, of course, until you have a bit of a, a test screening. Okay. Um, but hopefully, you know, people will just give me positive feedback at the test screening and uh, we won't have to make any more adjustments. But uh, it's, been a, it's been a really fun and interesting process working with uh, my online editor, Ryan, at Lamplighter. And uh, we're getting there slowly but surely, and uh, I can almost see the finish line. I'm sure the test screening will be unforgettable. I hope so. <laughs> All right, cheers. Thanks, cheers, sir. guys. CreativeSmoothie.com. Featuring music mixed by DJ Corey Dawkins. For more, visit DJCoreyDawkins.com.